The midterm elections are winding up, and the results have been startling. While most Americans, and especially Republicans, were expecting a red wave to sweep the House and the Senate, the GOP's performance was more tepid than anyone anticipated. The Democrats are ending up stronger in the Senate. This is raising some tough questions on the conservative side of the aisle. And in this video, we're going to be talking about it. First off, though, why was a red wave expected in the first place? It's a pretty unusual thing for the party in the White House to lose ground in the midterm elections. The opposition goes in guns blazing, convincing the people that every issue in the country is somehow the fault of the party in power. That was definitely something the GOP did, blaming the current inflation crisis and increasing poverty and crime levels on the Democrats. But there is something different about the GOP in 2022. As Donald Trump gained an improbable amount of support among Republican voters in 2016, the party took the message, this is what conservative voters want. And so the GOP was happy to deliver, standing behind Trump throughout his presidency, up to and through Trump's attempt to overthrow America's democracy on January 6th. Even as Trump has been voted out of the White House, the GOP has been setting the stage for his 2024 presidential bid, joining him in casting doubts over the 2020 election results. In tons of states across the country, the GOP was pushing pro-Trump candidates to the House and the Senate. Most of them, like Dr. Oz and Carrie Lake, were celebrities, but they all promised to continue the work that Donald Trump started, and they promised to ensure that Trump and the Republicans will never lose again. That is quite the strategy. But as we saw throughout the election, things didn't really pan out the way the GOP wanted. Moving on, here's how things are shaking out so far. It's not like the Democrats have necessarily crushed the Republicans necessarily, but the Biden White House has gotten the best performance in the midterm elections basically in U.S. history. The red wave never happened, and each of the races in this election was so much closer than anyone could have expected. All of these results are shaking out with the highest midterm voter turnout since 2018. According to projections, the Democrats are going to gain ground in the Senate. This would allow the Democrats to clear the roadblocks they face from purple senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema. The fate of the House is still up in the air, with many states still counting votes. But the projections state that Republicans might take control of the House by a tiny sliver, possibly holding 219 seats against the Democrats 216. So all in all, it's a less than ideal outcome for the Democrats, but so much better than even they probably expected. The biggest twist of the election is who the real loser turned out to be, Donald Trump. In state after state, pro-Trump election-denying candidates were firmly pushed back by the electorate, and some of Trump's loyalists even lost seats that they held. Lauren Boebert was one of these loyalists, and no one was even expecting her to get sent home. It's a resounding and unmistakable denial of what Whatever Trump has been promising the country if he was able to regain the presidency. Now, what does this mean for the future of the Republican Party? After six years of denial, the Republican establishment is finally starting to realize that Donald Trump just isn't going to be the future of the party like they thought he would. They are finally understanding the message that the voters sent out loud and clear. Trump is old news. Republican politicians have been taking to Fox News to publicly acknowledge that message. We doubt Trump is watching this video, but we're sure he's wondering what just happened to him. We think we might have some answers there. The truth is that Donald Trump has never really gelled with most conservative voters. And his real fans are the folks people call the MAGA crowd. However, if Trump could deliver election victories to the party, Republican voters were happy enough to vote for him just so their actual favorite politicians could advance their own agendas. So Trump was given a shot at the presidency. He spent the entire time engulfed in laughter became associated with Putin and got impeached twice, with one of those impeachments for attempting a coup. In his post-presidency years, Trump has also never addressed the issues that are actually affecting people, like inflation and the crime rate. Any chance he's gotten to speak in public, he's used it to bang on about an election from two years ago. It's no wonder that even Republican voters don't want another four years of this guy in office. Also, Trump might just be forced to kiss another ring soon enough. One of the big winners of the midterm elections was Ron DeSantis. The governor of Florida was expected to be re-elected, but the shattering margin with which he retained the seat is yet another sign of things to come for the GOP. DeSantis has long been described as Trump without the baggage, which might just be what the doctor ordered for conservative voters. DeSantis has faced some controversies himself, but they were less about his character and more about doing things that conservative Americans want to see. And he's got a lot more charisma. It looks like Trump can see the danger there. He's been calling out DeSantis on many TV appearances, threatening
threatening him with blackmail on one occasion and calling him desanctimonious on another. That latter one got him a clap back from commentator Ben Shapiro, who tweeted that Trump was showing a lack of discipline by dissing a fellow party member and a future challenger. So, that shows two things. On one hand, conservative media is no longer on the side of Donald Trump. On the other hand, Ron DeSantis is being tapped as the future of the Republican Party. Would Trump fall in line behind Ron DeSantis if the party chooses him? We doubt it. So whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, you might be hoping that DeSantis can take the reins from Trump, which would definitely lead to Trump leaving politics altogether. Let's move on from 2022 and flash forward to 2024. What might the primaries look like for the GOP? Trump has been talking about a presidential run in 2024 since before the 2020 election. And until these midterms, it almost looked like no one would stand against him in the primaries. The GOP was so convinced of the power of Trump that they thought it'd be a waste of time to try any other candidate against him. Now, with the backlash Trump is getting from Team Red, they'd probably prefer he just stay home. Now that, obviously, is an unrealistic expectation. At the end of the day, Trump has a right as an American citizen to run, and he won't back down on anyone's orders, unless one of Trump's political or civilian scandals takes him out of politics entirely. He'll be back in 2024. The real question then is if Ron DeSantis will try to take him out in the primaries. DeSantis may have won Florida, but the GOP will want to see how the rest of the country sees it. It's also possible that DeSantis might skip 2024's presidential race altogether. In fact, there are whispers that DeSantis does indeed plan on keeping out of 2024 if Trump takes another shot at the White House. As a young politician, he'll be around long enough to make an unopposed challenge for the White House, so why bother taking on Trump? Finally, we'll turn to the other side of the aisle and weigh their chances of getting a second term. Joe Biden has been pretty unpopular in the first half of his first term. Whether it was because he wasn't willing or he couldn't overcome a filibuster in the Senate, he really struggled to get anything from his agenda passed. 2022 has seen him score some wins, but overall, his presidency was looking pretty ineffective. With the midterms, he may have a stronger hold on the Senate, but he's also projected to lose the House. None of that might matter, though, if Biden goes against Trump a second time. It looks like a significant chunk of conservative voters have joined forces with the liberal voters to keep Trump out of office, and Republicans haven't won enough high-ranking posts to stack the deck in their own favor. These midterms may give us a glimpse of the future in the event that Trump is the one who makes it through the Republican primary. What if Biden was competing against against DeSantis. That had honestly looked pretty bad for Biden. DeSantis is young, savvy, and energetic, and even liberal voters will have to admit that he has more potential to sway voters to his side. It was a common opinion in 2020 that Biden only won because he was up against Trump. If he's up against someone else, that might not work out for him. That's it for today's video. Let us know in the comments section below what you think of the outcome of the midterm elections and what you think this means for the remaining half of Biden's first term. Also, should the the Republicans try to give their party a DeSantis-powered detox. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.